The year is 2025. You're coming back home a bit late, past the curfew. Hoping to avoid the controls, you take a secondary road, and there you see it. A police robodog staring at you with its lifeless eyes. It emits the standard warning with its robotic voice. Citizen, stand still and comply. You sense danger and start fleeing in the opposite direction. The robodog immediately starts chasing you getting closer and closer at every stride. Or is it? Is this scenario realistic? Could a robodog like Spot actually chase you? To answer this weird and creepy question, we have to break down the problem, and we will do it by comparing the performance of robodogs with those of actual good boys and humans. Because we can call these robo dogs, but do they actually run like our bestest friends? So we start with a very critical question. Could you simply outrunning this scenario, this robodog? How fast do these machines go? Can they run faster than a human or even a dog? Well, the answer is, it depends. Human top speed was attained by Usain Bolt in 2009, and it was around 37 and 58 kilometers per hour, which is pretty fast. But let's assume in this scenario that you are just an average human being, certainly not Usain Bolt, and you can run at around 24 kilometers per hour. Top speed. Can you outrun a dog? Hell no. Dogs are damn fast, especially some breeds, like the Greyhound, which can reach up to 70 km per hour. The fastest gait of a dog is called a rotatory gallop. During this gait, the dog is propelled not only by its powerful legs, but also by the flexion and the extension of its body. Haha, <laughs> flexibility, that's a keyword. You see, animals have flexible bodies, while robo dogs do not. Spot and its kind have rigid bodies for hosting electronics mechanisms and payloads. And this rigid body implies a different gait, because as you can see, Spot's gait is actually a little bit more jumpy. Spot's movement is in fact definitely less complex than the movement of a dog. It has only three motors per leg, allowing three degrees of freedom, three degrees of movement. As a comparison, here we can see all the muscles that are involved in the movement of just the rear leg of a dog. That's a lot of muscles. Quadruped animals have evolved their bodies over millions of years to be efficient in running, while robodogs on the other side are basically born yesterday and they have a lot to learn. Dogs have also an additional fourth degree of movement, the toes, which help in controlling the gait, while Spot and other robodogs, as you can see, they do not have toes, they just have simple round attachments for touching the ground. Spot speed is then not comparable with that of a dog. It can only run only at around 5 or 6 km per hour. But Boston Dynamics did in fact develop faster robodogs. In 2012, the company developed a robot named Cheetah, which reached around 45 km per hour, faster than Usain Bolt. However, the robot obtained this record only on a treadmill, and it was also supported. In 2013, the company then developed Wildcat, a self-standing robodog larger than Spot, which was able to reach around 30 km per hour. Wildcat looked a bit funny and sounded like a swarm of bees, but the speed reached was very impressive. However, the robodog that was chosen at the end to be commercialized was Spot. Smaller robodogs are definitely cheaper, uh, less power consuming, and they're easier to adopt, which is why you see them around instead of monstrosities like Wildcat. So, for the moment, you should be able to outrun at least this kind of robodog spot. Okay, so let's say you can keep a certain gap between you and the robodog. Now you're running down the road when you see, aha, uh -huh, some crates. Jumping quickly over the obstacle, you hope for a machine to get stuck. After all, it's just a robot. How high could it jump? Yeah, that's a good question. Now, humans can jump pretty high if they want, even higher than 2 meters during a high jump. But we're assuming here a scenario more similar to hurdling, so obstacles closer to, let's say, 1 meter in height. Dogs can indeed clear these obstacles. Every owner with a fence has probably witnessed that. And dog agility competitions show the incredible capabilities of these animals. And what about Spot? How high can it jump? Well, not the high. While dancing and jumping the rope might look cool, HUD itself is not very impressive. But again, for your happiness, there are in fact robodogs that can jump while running. In 2015, MIT worked on a cheetah robot similar to the one developed by Boston Dynamics. The robot could jump around 50 cm high obstacles while running at around 8 km per hour. 
Let's also hear an interesting comment from the professor who worked on this robot. The reason why I cannot jump that much, because uh, you can actually jump higher, you can jump about a meter higher, but you cannot land. The landing, landing is much, much, much harder than jumping. Oh, jumping is amazing. Jumping took like an hour to figure out. The landing took like months and months to uh, uh, really make it happen. Because, you know, we think it's easy because we are doing so easily, but actually programming all this behavior uh, that we are actually doing subconsciously is actually much, much harder. So if you have had to run from a robot dog, make sure to have some experience in hurdling. Good, now you jump the obstacle. And so did the robot dog, unfortunately. You see a crossroad ahead of you and you immediately decide to turn left. Will your metallic pursuer be quick enough to keep up the pace? And here we talk a very huge issue when it comes to chases, agility. Because being fast and jump high is not enough, you have also to be agile. And for this parameter, instead of referring to dogs, I will actually refer to bunnies. Yes, bunnies. Bunnies don't chase. The poor things are instead the ones being chased. And their whole body has evolved for this. Their powerful hind legs and flexible bodies not only allow them to go fast, but also to change direction pretty quickly. Bunny owners can in fact witness their pets zooming around at incredible high speeds, doing a 180 in a fraction of a second. This allows rabbits and hares in the wild to escape pretty fast predators like wolves. So how do robot dogs fare compared to bunnies and dogs in terms of agility? Well, not very good. Animals can count on trunk muscles to help in turning movements. But again, robot dogs have a rigid body and this does not help. We can see from the videos how Spot is pretty slow at turning and even faster robots like Wildcat have a very large turning radius. So if you find yourself in a pickle and you need to run from a robot dog, just act like a bunny and you will be safe. So let me know in the comments your opinion on how you would actually run from a chasing robot dog. And if you like this video, consider subscribing for more videos on these topics. It really helps me and my channel and also helps my bunny. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.